Hey guys, this is System, and this is all the Mod 7 to the Sky. Hope you're all having a great day. Let's go ahead and jump back into this pretty cool pack. It's uh, in between episodes. Obviously, I worked on my base quite a bit. Got it flushed out kind of the way I want. Did the little randomized floor here. A lot of basalt, a lot of granite. We worked on this uh, drawer, I guess, section down here for our uh, sifting setup. Got us up to uh, nine diamond meshes, which is not too bad. Actually sifted down, I think, 8,000 gravel. Yeah, I said 8,000. I think I did 18 dust, 18 stacks of dust and 18 stacks of sand as well. Doesn't take too long when I was doing it. Uh, I was doing it almost all with the iron meshes, right? So I upgraded them all up to iron mesh. Then I went ahead and uh, got us nine of the diamond. Don't know if we're going to do more than nine of the diamond, but uh, maybe we'll just leave it at this point here. Either way, really good, really awesome. And uh, we got ourselves a good amount of resources. So not a ton, but uh, a decent amount either way. Anyway, so what we're going to do today is go ahead and uh, probably work on some upgrades right away. I think I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory, right? So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is grab this. I want a Philosopher's Stone. This is from Project E. We're going to be able to use this to do a bunch of stuff, right? So if I take these emeralds here, I can actually use it to get two emeralds per... Sorry, two diamonds for every emerald. So it does stuff like that. It, like, converts things, right? It's actually really awesome. You go to use on it. You can actually see all the different kind of conversions it can do. So, yeah, the first few pages here are... Yeah, I think it's only up to page five. But I do these weird conversions, right? So I could actually take, grab some iron and make an ender pearl, which is going to be something I'm going to make here as well, actually. Do uh, I have iron in here, right? I went ahead and smelted some of that down. There you go. Let's go ahead and uh, do... Oh, we can't do that in my inventory system. Let's uh, pop that over there. Do that. Grab you. And with that, we should be able to make a magnet because I want to have a magnet as well, as well as a couple other things here too. So let's go ahead and grab this backpack as well. Actually, all the leather I've gotten so far too has been from the llamas. So all, every drop of my leather so far has been from llamas, oddly enough. Uh, that guy seems to come a lot. You, this, the trader seems to come a lot. We're going to get that all the way up to diamond. Then we're also going to grab ourselves a L chemical bag and kind of get this all done at once. So we need some of this covalescence dust. So let's go to Abium. I already grabbed that one. We need the medium. Then I think we need the high covalescence as well. There you go. Gives you a ton of the dust for each one. So that is kind of good. We're going to grab some of these repair talismans as well. So let's do that because it'll just uh, be a useful little thing here. And these things actually stack. So I'm going to actually grab a couple of them. I may grab some more in time. But anyway, that is good there. And then we also need the chest so let's grab you and then grab ourselves a alchemical bag so there you go so this is just a big bag just a big big bag but if you put these repair talismans in here and then go ahead and say grab your crook here and there's a reason i'll show you another thing too actually if they're just in your inventory they kind of hold the crook here it's actually repairing it that's why it's going up and down it's doing like one repair at a time right but it's really annoying because it makes all your tools bounce up and down but anyway if you put it in a bag you don't have to watch that also, you can put more than one repair talisman in there, and uh, it just it all stacks. It makes it go faster. So just a good way to kind of repair your items. And we're going to end up with a netherite pickaxe today, so I want to be able to repair uh, that kind of tool there because I don't know how long we'll be using the Tinker's tools. And the other big thing about this is this here. So this backpack here, we can actually put things. Even though there's stuff inside this bag, we can still put it inside the backpack. So it's actually nested store, nested storing with the backpack. It's actually an immense amount of storing because, uh, yeah, this is like bigger than double chest, right? Yeah, it's bigger than double chest. And then this is bigger than double chest. We just store immense amounts of stuff, right? So just really, really good thing to have and quite happy to have it, right? So that is good there. And then we also have the back, uh, the magnet as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get these here. We have a charm slot. There you go. And then up here we have a backpack slot. There you go. And if I hit B, it should open up our backpack. And then I think it was H for the magnet. And I had to uh, disable a couple of conflicts there. But uh, yeah, it's actually disabled now. So I can just turn this on off. But I throw things on the ground, turn it off for a second, then turn it back on. They just go immediately back into my inventory. So just a really easy, uh, quick to make magnet. So really awesome. And it's only up to five blocks, I think, too. So it's not one of those things that uh, will pull things for like 20 blocks away, like some of them. So very useful one. And uh, quite happy with that. And really easy to toggle. So... Yeah, that is our upgrades, and uh, I think we'll go ahead and uh, work towards our actual progression today. One thing I forgot to mention, too, was the alchemical bag with the repair talismans here. It actually can't repair Tigger's tools, so just be aware of that. It can just do, like, regular tools, vanilla tools. Most tools, actually, just not Tigger stuff, so definitely something to be aware of, though. So just wanted to let you know that so everyone knew. Also, I want to go ahead and uh, what I want to work towards today. Let's go with this here. We want to go to the condenser. This is kind of my goal, right? I want to get one of these energy condensers. With this, we'll be able to 
uh, basically duplicate anything that has EMC. In this pack, the list of items that have EMC is very short. This is it. So you go hashtag EMC, bring them all up. But I'll be able to pump items like cobblestone in there, produce EMC kind of infinitely. And once I do that, we can generate uh, any of these other items as long as you have one of them. You just need one to kind of put into the chest. Once it's inside the chest, it'll start duplicating it. So pretty cool, pretty awesome. So that's kind of my goal. That's why I want to work towards. To get this though, we need, uh, where's the condenser chest again? Let's go ahead and hunt that down one more time. To get this though, you need this dark matter, which you need the philosopher's stone to make. So we already have that. But we also need all the modium ingots. So to get the all the modium is a little different. Let's go ahead and uh, jump over here. And this quest line here, getting started too. We unlock this one. We actually have to go to the twilight forest. So you fill the hole with water, surround the edges with plants, so on and so forth. Throw a diamond in. Boom, you got a portal. And once you're there, you have to get this rare material. It's found in the twilight forest in this mod pack in varying amounts. Uh, inside hollow hills. No, you'll need a netherite pickaxe. So we need a netherite pickaxe, man. We can't do it, right? So let's go to uh, nether. All right, let's go to the scraps here. There you go. And the way we're going to get this is actually from netherrack, I believe. So we go to here. There you go. It's going to be crushed netherrack. So we'll get it at a pretty decent rate. I mean, it's, it's a bad rate, but at the same time, it's a pretty decent rate. It's not that bad because you only need so much of it generally. Uh, head over here. Uh, not there. <laughs> well, there you go. This is the way we're actually going to get it. It's going to be with the igneous extruder. So we're going to go ahead and end up making some of these igneous extruders. Probably do a couple of them because there's going to be a couple of resources that we could actually produce with it. But we just use lava, which water, a block of redstone underneath, and boom. Uh, infinite netherrack. You don't even need power or anything. So it's actually really useful. Actually, if you go to use on these, uh, right there. There you go. You can produce all kinds of different things. So we, we could do stone too. Uh, we could do end stone really easy as well. So that's another good one. And another good one here, I think, was basalt. There was a way of getting basalt as well. Yeah, it's right there. There you go. And that's going to be good for Flux Networks later on, I believe. So you go here, Flux Networks. Yeah, I would like to go ahead and get that produced as well. Because in time, we'll be able to sift that down. You don't even have to crush that one down. But again, you need to the right mesh. So we'll kind of work on that. And uh, that is kind of... So to go ahead and make these extruders here, we're going to need one of these here. One of these iron ore hammers. So let's actually grab that. With that, we could actually make dust really easy with like raw iron, right? So you see there, we get this iron dust. And uh, it's going to use some of the durability of the hammer. And uh, we'll have to see if we can actually repair that or not. I don't know if we can. But anyway, that is good there. Then can I put that in the bag and repair that? Maybe not. Probably not. I, I actually expect that they won't let you do this because it is an ore doubling method. And they seem to want to limit ore doubling in this pack. It seems like they even tweak, tweak the mechanism and thermal machines. But yeah, you can't repair that, unfortunately. So I guess that's the thing. Let's go ahead and uh, drop that off there. This stuff, though, we can actually use it to make these different materials. We make constant sand dust, so let's go ahead and grab some of that. And we'll grab some of this in-bar dust as well. Then we're probably going to go ahead and smelt this down, too. Actually, did I grab a furnace? I saw I had a quest to grab the furnace there to unlock another one. I wasn't sure if I did yet, but anyway, apparently I had already done that. So in here in the getting started quest line, yeah, I need this uh, iron furnace. So let's go ahead and get that one done as well, just so we have the quest and something that uh, smelts a little faster as well. Let's actually pick like two of these up. Let's do that. This here. And get a little progression at the same time. So let's just do that. Uh, let's hunt down our iron. Sweet. Let's get... Whoop, I messed that up. Go ahead and grab two of them. Then we should be able to upgrade them again. Let's go ahead and grab two blocks of gold. Do this here. Grab ourselves at least two gold ones. And these should be a little faster. They're not very much faster, mind you. But at least they're a little quicker, right? Let's put that down there. Put this down here then we should be able to uh, pump these uh dust in here and they should do the smelting for us as well and i should be able to put these on top as well right then i should be able to set the outputs because i'm pretty sure we can output these automatically right auto input on auto output on and we'll do top input input and output and that should work right there actually uh hopefully yeah it's gonna push it up there once it's finished and that is actually pretty rad do the same thing here as well and do input output then I can just put things in the chest that'll kind of come down and come back out, right? So it just kind of cycle. Um, did it do the invar? I'm actually confused. I'll send the constant down. <laughs> what are the default settings of this thing? Let's turn this one none. There you go. So it's not putting it into the furnace below it because that's not very helpful at all, is it? What is the other thing we need for this? Just some of these redstone servos. We're only going to set up three right now. So that is good. And anything else from this as well? I think we have everything else. I think we're just going to need some iron nuggets. 
and have to wait on that smelting layer. But uh, that is the least of our worries. There's one other material we need too, right? So if you look at the kind of setup here, we need a redstone block under it. Then we need a bucket of witch water, a bucket of lava, which I think I already have the lava and the witch water. Oh, I may have to make some more witch water. That isn't a big deal though. And then the other one here, what was this one here? This one needs glowstone, which I think I already grabbed. There's one that had a material I didn't have yet, the soul soil. And the soul soil I saw, yeah, we just used coarse dirt. So let's go ahead. I think I grabbed coarse dirt, right? So go ahead and grab you. Then we'll go ahead and uh, hunt down that barrel. Which side is it? This side over here. <laughs> there you go. And uh, I think we just pop that into there. And there we go. We'll have the soul soil that we'll be able to put under the furnace and get this to actually produce. So that is actually going to work out for us just fine. So we've got enough cone sand and invar now. So we should be able to uh, start working on this, right? So let's go ahead and grab ourselves three pistons. So that is good. As well as uh, what do we need here? We already got the servos. We just need uh, three of the gears. And then we should have enough to actually craft these things, right? So there we go. We actually got three of these. So let's go ahead and uh, set these up. I already set up a little area here. We're going to set them up. They're actually going to sit right here, just like that. We also need one more item, actually, before we uh, move forward here. Kind of forgot these uh, these drawers, these ones from functional storage. They need these uh, polar upgrades, right? So let's actually grab a couple of them. One, two, three. Because otherwise you can't... Uh, move the items into this, right? We need to uh, have something that can pull items out of the inventory and into the actual drawers. So that should uh, work just fine for that. Either way, let's head over here and uh, see if we get these set up here. So the first one, let's start with the netherrack, I guess, right? So we need to get a block under these two. I kind of forgot about that. Well, let's set up this one first, actually, because <laughs> I got to access the other ones for the side for the materials, right? Actually, we must well do all three of them. Let's get these out of the way. There you go. Let's get all the underneath blocks first, I guess. So let's get you out of there. There you go. Then we'll want the... I think I had them in here somewhere. Maybe it's in the bag. There you go. Let's grab that and that. So we'll put the netherrack here. That's fine. We'll put the uh, soul soil here. That looks good. And then the glowstone over here for the end stone. So this will be kind of the setup. The blocks on the bottom right there. Then we'll need a bucket of that. Um, we'll just put that. I can't remember which one gets what. I think I got these set up right now. I didn't realize one of these is going to need a blue ice as well. So we may have to go ahead and do that real quick because it shouldn't take too long. But if I put this now, there you go. We have the lava on one side, the witch water on the other. And it actually produces the end stone. So that's what we want to see here. And this one here was this, right? There you go. That should start producing the netherrack. And then I just need a blue ice for here. I think I have a way of getting the blue ice actually pretty easily. Go ahead and grab, I guess, the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, I would need uh, Silk Touch. Huh, do I actually want to do Silk Touch right now? I may hold off and wait on this one. But Salt, we don't need right away. But yeah, we could actually use the Philosopher's Stone to actually get us ice pretty easily, actually. So you go to, actually, I'll just show you. It's going to melt, I think, anyway, right now. So you just shift and right-click on the water. There you go. But I need Silk Touch to get that. So we'll do that later on with a Tinker's Tool. But uh, yeah, we'll come back and do that one later. But anyway, this will work for us right now for these two. And I think I actually made some drawers as well, right? Did I actually not grab drawers? I'm a total derp if I didn't do that there. And we'll need uh, 81. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll need 81 ice to do that too. I should watch the traders. The traders sell blue ice sometimes too. So you may want to uh, watch your traders as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, set these up. We'll need uh, polar upgrades. So let's do that. No, let's not do that. Actually, do they have to right click the side there? Just like that, right? Oh, I put two in there. Can you put two in? I didn't know that. Anyway, that's good. And do that there. And they must be set the down by default. Yeah, because you kind of go into the inventory here, right click them and set the side, but it looks like they're set the down by default. Either way, they'll actually produce the materials really quickly. And now we're getting our nether rack. Just gonna let that build up a little bit. Then we're gonna start sifting that down. And the end stone, not as big a deal, but we can use this to sift down to get us ender pearls and stuff, right? I think was the idea of this one, right? So yeah, it's here somewhere. Crushed, there you go, crushed. And then, yeah, I'll get us uh, ender pearls, platinum pieces, and uh, char fruit. So that's what that one's for. So I finally got up to uh, 12 netherite scraps here. That was kind of my goal and uh, not too bad. Got a good amount of quartz in the process too. So I guess it works out. Uh, not bad either way, right? Also, I went ahead and uh, set up a second one of the extruders. So I set up the other one that we weren't using yet just to do netherrack kind of in parallel, just so we could uh, pump it out uh, really quickly and just make sure I could keep uh, grinding it down. I think I had to do over a thousand to be able to uh, get enough here. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, use this. There you go. I want to go ahead and make three of those. One of those I want to store right away. We'll do that. Also made a set of diamond armor as well. So we are at least a little geared for that dimension. And then we'll go ahead and throw that down. Probably pop that in there. We're going to need a netherite sword as well as a pickaxe, right? So that is good. We didn't need the sword. We didn't even really need netherite pickaxe. I think if you went the tinkers route and just got netherite level pickaxe, you could have used that as well. I'm not certain of that, but I think that works. But it's been a while. Anyway, let's go ahead, put that in there. And I have everything for the portal. I didn't put the dirt around it yet. We have to put the dirt around it first. Let's do that. And anything else I need here? I need some flowers and I need a diamond, right? So we need that and those as well as one diamond. Anything else I want to make before I go? Oh yeah, I grab glowstone for some feral flares and uh, that should help us out as well. Oh yeah, I was going to do, I was uh, doing gold too, right? Go to grab you. I think I saw, the, yeah, this here. I was looking at the, this, this may help as well. So we'll actually go ahead and make a, what is this called? The uh, mega torch, right? Mega torch may, may make our life a little bit easier if there's a lot of mobs down there because it's like a hollowed out hill, right? I think that's the uh, actual kind of biome we're going for. So we'll kind of see how it works out for us either way, right? Uh, I don't remember the corners have to be there either. So anyway, we'll just uh, just uh, clear them all out just in case and uh, do the thing. Also, the portal only has to be a two by two. I'm doing a three by three because, well, it's an uneven area and it'd be in a weird little place. So I want it to be in the center. Probably won't stay here anyway, right? I'll probably end up using this platform for something else. But I don't think it hurts to move the portal. Although, I don't remember ever actually moving one of these portals, so maybe I'm just talking out of my butt. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab you. Grab you. We need to surround this puppy with uh, flowers, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Shouldn't be too bad. I think it can be all the same flower, too, so I don't think it has to be different ones. It's just I have a little bit of each, so that's what I'm doing. And once you got flowers around that, you should be able to just uh, throw that in there. There you go. That is good. Don't Don't burn all my flowers, man. They're my favorite flowers. Oh, that flower's gone. Put that flower there. Okay, so what we'll do, I guess, is just uh, jump through the portal here. Let's get some of this wood out of our inventory. Don't need that. Probably don't need that on us either. I don't know why I brought all this stuff, right? But uh, we should be good to go. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, jump through and uh, kind of hope for the best here, right? Hopefully we get, uh, you know, we're not too far from the biome. Oh, there we go. Where are we at? We are somewhere. That. Wait. Is that one of the hills right there? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. This is what we're looking for, this round shape. This is exactly where we need to go. Oh, I saw a crow. Get a feather. I want one of these feathers here. Probably not going to do much in this dimension. We're really just looking for the Olimodium. I didn't know you guys flew that much. You dropped like little black feathers. Yeah, you didn't give me one. I was hoping for one. I don't have 80 feathers yet, so I guess that's a thing as well. Anyway, let's dig into this hill here. Did I just break my portal? Well, that's problematic. How am I going to get back? I need a diamond. Um, I might be using Slash Home. <laughs> that's a total derp. I didn't even think about that. I was just like, I want inside this thing. Anyway, so yeah, I may use Slash Home to get home because uh, that might be our only way home. So this is kind of how it works. You get a whole bunch of ores in here. And then, yeah, down there, there's going to be an area with a whole bunch of mobs. So I'm going to just go ahead and do this so no new mobs in the area should be able to immediately spawn in. Then I got the feral flares and then a bunch of torches to be able to light up this area a ton too. I'm not going to worry about that stuff right now either. There should be a bunch of mobs down here as well as spawners. And if we see all the modium, it should be in the roof, right? So I think that's how that works there. Uh, you come, you come in here. What are these guys, the red caps? I can't remember. Can these kobolds, I think they could steal from you. Is that what they do? I can't remember. Hopefully they don't steal anything from me. I like my stuff. Anyway, we'll do that. And then I'm going to put down some of these feral flares, like I said, because that'll spread out light. I think it is 16 radius around them. Uh, I, I really don't like you. Why does that creeper look so weird? What? Whoa, these are, that's actual Twilight Forest mob. Also, why is that creeper so tanky? These guys actually hurt a little bit. I didn't think they'd hurt that much with the diamond armor with uh, these mobs here, but, you know, it is what it is. If I get a diamond, I'd probably just go home normal <laughs> with the portal, but it looks like I'm going to have to sl uh, slash home. I did set a home, so we should have a 
proper home to teleport to. Because I always do that now, because, yeah, it's just, uh, I've been running into too many issues in the last few packs, right? And it's always good to have your slash home set, so when you want to go home, you can, right? And what that is good, probably should eat, and, uh, slowly let these, uh, lights spread, right? Once they're lit up, we'll be able to, uh, deal with this, and the mob shouldn't spawn too much with that, uh, Mega Torture Ram. Don't even care if we lose it either, it's just really just kind of to deal with the situation, right? Should be some chests down here, and there should be some spawners down here too. But if they're in the range of the Mega Torch, uh, we won't have to worry about them. I think they're usually on the outsides, actually. Uh, it's so chonky in here, man. I can't see nothing. I'm just going to uh, spam some torches and look around. Yeah, nothing too good in these things. I don't even know what this does, to be honest, to transform in powder. So I think I found one of the ores here. Let's open the ceiling. Let's go ahead and grab that. And that should be it right there. So it looks a lot like a gold ore. But it looks a little different, right? Yeah, there you go. It needs a netherite level pickaxe. And hopefully there's more than one here. I should be able to vein mine him, right? Oh, we actually got two. That is not bad at all. I'm going to look around a little more here. But I think I have this place mostly lit up. So that's not that bad. Also, I can't remember what this thing does. The ore magnet? I was looking at it. I was trying some stuff. Like, I thought maybe you, like, pull it and then you let it go. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> I feel like it just changed the ores, though. What does that do? Is it actually pulling the ores from somewhere nearby? Or did that just make more ores? Can I make more Olimodium with that? <laughs> I don't know. Not sure what it did. I'm going to have to look it up on the wiki. But anyway, I'm going to look around a little more. I think these are usually pretty high up. So we'll kind of see how it works out for us. But anyway, we got some. We got the two we need at least. Now, I definitely like to find some more. But once I am done here, we'll head home and... Uh, Get our condenser going. Yeah, that looks like some more. There you go. And it is in here repairing, right? Let's go ahead and grab you. Doing as vein mine and a whole bunch of the cobblestone, just trying to get it to uh, show some more. But uh, no luck at all. But I used a ton of durability. But anyway, that is for there. How do we process this too? Oh, we doubled it up. So that actually equals to eight. So maybe that's okay for right now. We could always come back later, right? So if we need more may have to head to another hill later on anyway so that is good i think that's enough to actually make the portal too i mean we don't need to at any point at this uh part of the mod pack go into the uh, portal there but there is that portal where is it right there only takes four nuggets anyway so we're good either way so yeah maybe we'll head back and uh oh there's some more right there i'm gonna go ahead and grab those then we'll head back so we're back from the twilight and I uh, went ahead and uh, fixed our portal on the other side. So I just jumped through with some blocks and some flowers and opened up the portal. It's all fixed and we're good there. I had to slash home though. So I guess that's the thing. I did find uh, 12 of them in total. So we've got a good amount of uh, all the modium. And uh, we should be able to double that up really easily. That's not too bad. And I believe we just smelt that up, right? I think that's all we do. Yeah, that's all we do. I don't think there's any, you know, doubling of the doubling mechanic, right? <laughs> oh, I guess that's something. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get to at least two of these. Cool. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, grab a bunch of coal as well. I think we need... Does it actually tell you when you do this? No, we don't have that mod that uh, tells you how much you have in your hand, do you? That's unfortunate. I know I need... Uh, how many do I need? I think it's 512 per dark matter is what we need, right? So the way we would do this is uh, in our backpack, right? We've got our philosopher's stone. Go ahead and do this. Then we put four of those in there. And that should be half of it. And that should be the other half. And this should be half of another one. And that should be half of another one, right? But uh, we have to do this, right? Here we go. Then we do this as well as it. There we go. I think that's all we need there. So you go to use on that. We just go ahead and grab two of these, right? There we go. We got two dark matter, which is what we want. Then we're going to need another. Oh, we need the energy condenser. So let's go ahead and grab that block. Where is it there? No, I didn't grab the right one. I want the alchemist chest. Then we should be able to grab the condenser. Look at that. We have the thing. So that is awesome. Also, did I get my quest there? Yeah, I did too. All the modium sight. So I'm guessing that's going to make it so we can see the actual potions. This rare materials is found. Yeah, I'm guessing that's going to make it so we can actually see the ores. So that'd be cool if we could actually make that in the future. Be able to just see the ores in the distance. It looks like you have to use a calcinated all the modium powder. Okay, so we'll have to figure that out when the time comes. A pestle? What mod's that from? <laughs> what is that? Potion Master. Okay, well, 
We'll worry about that when the time comes. I'm going to go ahead and steal this culvin. No. Nope. Go ahead and uh, set this up in a temporary spot. Just to show you how it works here. So go ahead and grab this tier 2 cobalt Should work just fine. If it's too fast, this one's not very fast, so I'm a little worried about it. But, uh, yeah, it's getting cobalt in it, right? Then if I want to go ahead and duplicate something, and something I'd like to duplicate right away, actually, is uh, obsidian, right? So let's go ahead and grab this, and we would need a bucket of lava, right? So let's go ahead and grab a bucket of lava real quick. Oh, uh, that is the wrong way. Uh, lava would be this way. <laughs> go ahead and grab... Yo. Wait, oh, that's not that's not gonna work. There you go. Let's uh let's just put it right here. And I think we just shift right click on that. Is that obsidian? Yeah, that's obsidian. I was a little confused for a second because of the uh I guess the outline of the box there. And uh we should be able to pick this puppy up. And uh once we have this puppy, we should be able to just uh duplicate more and more of it, right? As it gets more and more EMC. So right now if I put this in here, so I wanna put it into this slot. It's going to start duplicating it. It's going to start eating up the cobblestone that's in there as it gets put in there, too. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to just produce infinite uh, obsidian as long as I leave it in there, right? It'll fill up the chest. You know what I mean? I can pull something out. I can only do one item at a time. That is kind of the limitation there. I think this is a little slow, too. I don't want to go too fast because it will get filled up with cobblestone uh, if I kind of mess it up here. Um, just uh, overfill it, basically. Do I have another bucket? Where did I put the bucket I had earlier? I'll just make another bucket. You guys know me and my buckets. I always have a, uh, a bucket worth of buckets. I guess I have some right there. There you go. Yeah, I just always have tons of buckets. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead and do that. See if we can actually get this one upgraded to the next year. And uh, it might be fast enough. Uh, it's in my inventory system. Let's go ahead and grab you. Sweet. There's our next year. And uh, we'll try to see if that's a little better. Yeah, that's like great keeping up. It's not, uh, if I go one more, it's like I said, it's going to fill the inventory with cobblestone that it can actually put the obsidian in there when it gets enough EMC. Maybe I'll test it with one higher, I guess. But uh, that's working out pretty well. And you can see here how it kind of works there. Uh, what do we need for the next one, actually? Just to try it, do that. Go to uh, use on that one. That one's not too bad. I just don't know if we have the lava right now. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> I'll try that in between episodes, but... Basically, we're going to be able to use that to get all these different items, right? So, I uh, go to, what is it there again? Hashtag EMC. I'll be able to, uh, once we have blaze rod, I'll be able to do blaze rods. I won't have to uh, use the iron to make ender pearls anymore. I could just do it uh, do it that way. Then I go ahead and probably grab things like quartz as well, which will help us get into inventory system. I really need the obsidian so we get into flux networks, which is going to be wireless power. Because we're going to start working on power and automating the uh, sifting setup tomorrow. And we could always set up a power flower too and just uh, get a whole bunch of EMC that way as well, which is something we'll probably do at some point because there's really no reason not to do it. And uh, where they have all the higher level EMC items kind of blocked out, you're a little limited in what you do anyway for EMC, right? So the power flowers might be a good way of going about it. But either way, we have infinite uh, obsidian at this point, right? So it'll just keep producing it and we don't have to worry about that anymore. We could put... Can you put that in there? No, it won't let you put in the thing that's currently producing, I guess. I could probably put this stuff in there, though. Yeah, look at that. So you put something in there that's worth a little more EMC. It'll go way faster, right? That's awesome. So you can see how powerful this is. I saw one thing that was really good, too. So later on, we could probably switch to Amethyst Shards. And there were 4,096. And that's going to be from the Basalt I was showing earlier. Or the setup I was trying to set up earlier before I realized we didn't have any blue ice, so... Yeah, once you get that kind of automated with the sifting setup, you get a ton of EMC there. Then if you need to produce any of this stuff, you'll be able to do it super quick. My biggest thing out of all this is wood. I did not want to have to do wood anymore. I also didn't, like I said, I didn't want to do obsidian either because it looked like it was going to be painful setups no matter what. Just slow and, uh, yeah, anyway, definitely a thing. But there you go. We got an energy condenser. We got into uh, Project E, and uh, we are good to go. But I think we're going to go ahead and actually end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys in the next video. Later.